Hi, I'm Dave Young from CryptoVest.com and this is another one of our informational videos on security tokens and what comes next in the cryptocurrency market. Now, we're going to take a look at the basics today, the SEC compliance rules. To understand the market, to understand the trends, the players, you need to understand the underlying legislation that seems to be driving the whole operation at the moment. Now you'll hear lots of offerings, different ICOs every other week saying they've got a new platform, they're gonna launch a special funky type of token. It's gonna make making a security token on whatever, blah, 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 blockchain, so easy, so simple, and it's all going to be done like that and all super legally compliant. Well, nothing's that easy. So if you want to evaluate what's going on, where the market's going, how it's happening, you need to understand the basic rules. What are the four categories the security token can choose from? Regulation D, which is two exceptions from having to be regulated or registered the offering with SEC. Regulation S, which is basically avoid the US. Regulation A+, which allows you to run up to 50 million, and if the new amendment goes through, 75 million. Then you have Regulation Crowdfund, which allows you to raise up to 1.07 million dollars. Regulation D, 504 or 506C, allowing you to talk to US investors without SEC registration and approval. Regulation Exemption 504, now the first one's if you only want to raise less than $5 million over a year period. Gives you the freedom not to have to have accredited investors, but you will also have to lock in the investors for the first year. 506C is a simple form. It means basically only deal with SEC accredited investors, which is high worth, high net individuals. Basically, people with over a million dollars to their name. You'll also have to lock these people in for a year. Now, even with these two exceptions, you've got to remember that this still doesn't protect you from any zealous state authorities that want to go a little bit further with their regulations, with their interpretation of the rules. Now, if you take a look at Kraken Exchange, they were registered in New York and they've been calling the New York regulators a jilted lover, saying we've deregistrated, we've moved out of the area, we don't deal with anyone there, but you're still hounding us. Then you get to understand the black comedy of how difficult compliance can become. Regulation S, don't deal with Americans. If you've ever invested in an ICO before, you're probably used to stringent know your customer regulations, and you'll also have to, apart from this, block any marketing getting to the US. You'll have to have IP filtering. You've got to watch out for any Americans that are you gaming the system to get back in, otherwise SEC will be after you. But even if you do choose to exclude America and the whole market. If you're doing security tokens, you're gonna to need to be somewhere where there's strong regulation, where it's a strong jurisdiction. Otherwise, no one's gonna gamble their money. Just get that elusive advantage of a digital token compared to a standard share certificate or an investment fund. Regulation A+, long procedure, up to $50 million. Now the A plus is a lot more complicated. You've got to produce a lot more stuff to go into it. It's a little bit more like an IPO, but not completely all the way. It's a lot easier. You've got to have IPO two year CPA audited accounts. Uh, you can go up to 50 million. Soon they might change to 75 million. You've got to do a lot of procedures and it can take quite a while. A lot of ICOs have applied for it. Not so many have got through. In the system at the moment, you've got Prometheum. They're going for a $50 million offering and they believe it will allow them to have a platform where they can trade other ICOs. Then you're gonna have Gab, social networking platform, 10 million at the moment they're applying for it. You've got uh, Dexcoin, a decentralized Uber alternative. You've got Mandala, a decentralized asset exchange. I'm Dave Young from CryptoVest.com and this was another of our series of explainer videos going deeper into the world of security tokens. Stay current, stay valid, stay tuned. Till next time.